Welcome back to Let's Play Digimon World 2. Now, going from the order that we first began playing, we beat SCSI Domain and we had the choice pick between video and disc. Going with the tradition of repeating and retracing our steps, we're choosing video because video domain is the first floor you gotta have mag missiles domain. This time it's leveled up to green electro spheres. Electro fields. Keep that one minimized. Okay, so we gotta use mag missile level 2 to get the electro spore out of the way. That means a dead end. Here we have the Toy Agumon, Snow Agumon, and Clear Agumon. There's no telling what kind of bugs or traps or landmines are up over there. Okay, step one. Take out Clear Agumon unless you're recruiting him. His uh, HP cure heals 50 HP. Okay, I should have doubled up. That's not going to be enough. Maybe I should have went with Meteor Storm as a backup. Okay, well, it wasn't by much. Continuing, we got one more Electrospore. There's another Agumon up there. And he's gonna get us before we can clear. Okay, let's go. Meteor Stream, Lightning Paw, and Drill Spin. Got a 1 in 3 shot by 3 times, maybe 2 times if, yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping that my microphone is not picking up the Gekkoman Orchestra heading that is directly outside of my building. Because I can't hear it that much with the headset on, but I sure is, well, putting it nicely. 
I'm getting a flashback of the Mimi episode from the first season of Digimon. Or in Digimon World 1, where you were pretty much kidnapped by a whole bunch of croaking frogs after beating a little Otalamon, which you never get to see again. No, that's actually making me want to play Digimon World 1 again, is just to see if I can get... Just get one of those little creatures. But it's been way too long. I think the last time I played Digimon World was probably about six months ago. And I just kept getting stuck on the one part that just drove me nuts. And that was the Lake Guardian. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Oh, sheesh. Well, are we ready to play Russian Roulette? What's going to happen? Ooh, thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. I locked out enough with the landmine. I do not need to be pressing my luck. There is a blue landmine. And that sucker can do 1,200 damage to your Digi Beetle and 30 damage to each of your Digimon. Same thing with parts and other whatnot. Another Toy Agumon. Yeah. So I haven't been hearing any complaints about so far with the resolution change for the sake of being able to hold more on my hard drive. I'm taking it as a good thing. What am I doing back up? Yeah, my finger slipped. There we go. I do apologize for the reduce of the resolution. I just didn't expect 1600 by 1200 recorded videos at 30 minutes take up two gigs I mean essentially by the time I complete this let's play I'll probably have more amount than probably about a hard drive and a half all right the counter attack struck in but oh, I apologize for that little break there I had to deal with uh, family family matter Okay, let's resume the battle, finish it up, and keep moving on. No, it just seems that lately that the family's just being plagued with indigestion issues. Not getting too far in depth with the actual topic. Alright, at the, at the point of the game I don't have a strong enough arm, so if I do have a booby trap, yes, this, do not open under any circumstance if it says trap is hard to disable. Spare you, yourself, and an automatic 2000 HP hit. Oh, floor panel. Ooh, it's being really generous today. Okay, I can handle. Virus Macho. Basically, it boosts virus attack, lowers back uh, data's attack. This is a problem. Bergamon are a, a double stepper. Bergamon has the meteor wing, which attacks all three. Ikakumon, which is the 
the champion of Gomamon has the Harpoon Torpedo and Garurumon is actually a s alternate ga Garurumon from the te te Taparamon or Tapiramon's line. However, this Garurumon will, ha uh, will know Air Shot and Antidote. It is very helpful if you're trying to shoot for an all Gabumon related line and have a couple of assists. Because poison can be a real hassle if prolonged. Okay, so we're going to be going into a double battle. Now, believe it or not, we're actually going to be back here again. Alrighty, so take a counterattack and use it to good use by taking out the heavy hitter. Yeah. The threat isn't Bergamon, the threat is actually Ikakumon, is actually the stronger of the three. Because I think he has a whopping 133 HP. Now, I like the Gomamon line, but it would have been nice if they had Vikemon as his Mega instead of uh, Persekiomon. I mean, Vikemon even appears as, as a card in Digimon Card Battle, which is essentially just up to Season 2. Or generation two, basically. I mean, that would have been neat. All right. Next step. Target Guru Mon. Now, what am I doing? Okay, so this will have Bergamon left, we can pick off. Alright, sweet. Yep. Okay, so now, actually, since we're going to level up, I just go full out. I am going to have to pull off when I get to 21 so I can... Or I could probably get away with if they get close to 21. I could hold out that extra 300 HP and P. Do with the flaming chicken. And nope. Wasted enough time. One battle was more than good enough. I'll come back and grind off screen with these guys because these guys give nice amount of experience and also money. Which I had to come back and get a lot of in order to get most of the Digibeetle parts that I need. Here is also one of the big guys I want to come back and get too. Now, main reason why I did not choose the DNA Digivolve of my Metal Greymon. So I can get a Greymon that can 
become a Metal Greymon again, and possibly become War Greymon if I maxed him out 27 to 27, meaning 27 divided by 5 is still roughly around 5 points remainder, which means from 27 plus 5 equals 32, which was enough just to be able to get Terra Force. <gasps> okay. It still would have low stats. However, if I DNA Digivolve a couple of Greymons, and then DNA Digivolve the Metal Greymon, you'll have about 1.5 better stats doing this than actually having him just do two Metal Greymons. But I'm saving the Toy Boat for something that we need much later on. Because I don't feel like sitting in one spot shooting skateboards that would take up two spots just to get a Numimon to trade for that Mega Dramon. Just for DNA material. Alright, one battle to show off our enemy Digimon here, so we have the new Digimon, 8-mon. 8-mon has the Super Bone Stick, which attacks all three enemies. Greymon has Nova Blast. And Shima, the Shi that Shima Unimon has a Paralysis Heal and the Air Shot. Okay, so let's we'll take out the Shima Unimon. And, oh, we missed. Okay, Shama Unimon. I'm trying to remember what Digivolution he comes from. Well, more obviously noted, he is a zebra variety than the actual horse variety he was depicted before. Oh, I gotta think about this one for a bit. What, what was his rookie? Okay. Now I remember. I remember back when I was probably my third run through that ID DNA Digival tape here month about four or five times and it came up under Shama Unimon. Okay. Alright, I feel better. I keep forgetting I have the counterattack guy on first turn. Okay, this should be enough, if not, be close to a dent. Nope, one more turn. Miss Mon all over again. Oh, it's actually reminding me back in my earlier days when I was playing the actual MMORPG. But that's a separate Let's Play. Maybe. Did Shama Unimon did you evolve into again? Oh, that's right. Both Unimon and Shama Unimon did you evolve into Mammothmon, which was one of my favorites. Which has the uh, little slamming tusk. Then again, Tuskmon had that movers. Oh, I need a I need a guide or something at this point. <laughs> but I don't want really want to use a guide. I'm trying to go just based off of nostalgia feeling and just recollection. the floor uh, 
Yeah, I'm not taking any risks. Fire panel specialty, and there's a Digimon up there. It's a Bergermon again. Also, Bergermon is also a fire specialist. Yeah, I'm just going to be showing off the new battles, run from the others. Right now my level is high enough to deal with what we have to deal with. I'll grind a little bit till I get my ultimates and then we can be able to get forward with some more parts. Yep. Also, there's also an alternate Bergemon getup where he's just level 13. And then he has in tow a level 12 Mojimon, which... Uh, what did the other guy Mojimon did evolve into? Uh, I think it was like the same mo if it was the same line as Frigimon, then it has to be... What am I doing? It has to be Monzimon. I think. Alright, going on the line, Monzimon is an ultimate level Digimon with not an attack, but uh, I think it's, it's actually an assist, and uh, you have got to be kidding me again? Oh, it's that floor too. Okay, Russian roulette part two. Something blue. Okay, 20 damage. I can eat that. Another Greymon. Okay, another alternate to the Greymon encounter is he could have a Sabergemon. And somebody I'm actually going to want later on is Kabuterimon. If I had picked Goldhawks, then by now I would actually have had a... Pretty much Kabuterimon would be my number one guy. And it's this floor again. Boss is... Down one way. Actually, I want to check real quick. Do I have any room? Drat. No, I don't. Okay, do these guys have mushrooms? Ah, uh, yes, they do. Okay, I can show off this battle. Mushroomon is a rookie type virus with the fungus crunch, which literally turns him into a shroomish. No joke. Alright, so... Take him out quickly as you can. That's not gonna be enough. Uh, what did Mushroom Mon did evolve into? Um. Oh, that's the Crimson Claw, and that sucker is nasty. That's right, Ve Vegemon. And Woodmon, and I think Red Vegemon as well? Red Vegemon's also with the. if you run into Gecko Mods later on. Alright, Crimson Claw is really nasty, but it's actually one of the better champion type moves. Main reason why that I wanted to wait till Device Dome was unlocked so I could actually DNA Digivolve this guy right on the spot, add 10 DP to whoever I'm using, and have the cr that Crimson Claw. That sucker's nasty. Okay, Numimon is not a bad Digimon, it's just in this game unlike his pred unless the bleh, unlike his predecessor in World One, he cannot Digivolve.
Oh, that tech is just beautiful. It's probably my on my top ten favorite. Too bad, Mike. I don't know any healing. Yeah, this guy is a tank. A bad tank. He's the main reason why I wanted to grind up to this point. This man, his attacks are nasty and it has a high attack power. Essentially, maybe like f five to ten minutes I've been doing nothing but praising that Digimon and his attack. Okay, so where do we go? That's a dead end. Top one, go to the right, that's a dead end. We actually gotta go this way and... Okay, so it's actually we gotta go down and... Problem is, is that here I think... No, I guess I probably could have skipped that whole entire Numemon battle, but it works out. But, no bugs as for this type. And I want to double check. I have my return zap right here, so I can actually... Ah, yes, the energy bug. Perfect, I can show it off. Look closely at my EP. For you that are new that have not run across what an energy bug is, watch as I click the X and watch the number decrease. Energy bug will defeat whatever my step is plus two. So it's three, three per go and it is progressive and it will follow you onto the next floor. I already showed off the one battle. I'm trying to keep up here what I'm trying to do. Uh, let's see, we gotta go this way. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six. Before we do, I want to take this chance to... Because I have an oddball feeling that this one is actually going to be a challenge. Okay, if this guy has who I think it is, then we're going to run. Yep. We have, for the first time, seeing in this Let's Play, Devemon. All right. Analysis time for this battle. Raremon has the Buffalo Breath. Counter attack confuses 100% on hit. Devimon has the Dark Claw or the Evil Touch. It basically it drains double the H your MP that Demi Dart would. This Solomon has Necromagic and Thunderball counter attack. Oh, as well as it might have Evil Charm if I recall. Alright, name of the game. Leave him for last. Leave him later for last. Take out the guy that's going to take out all of your MP. Focus all vaccine moves if you have. Go against this guy. By this point of the game, you should have already picked up a vaccine type. 
if you're choosing to have a balanced team of vaccine, virus, and data. Ah, Miss Mon hits again. Yeah, this guy lowers MP much higher than Demi Devin one did. And that's what happens when you get hit when he's hit with a increased power data type counterattack. Yes, yeah, so we're dealing with a very strategic team. We're dealing with one main attacker and two counterattackers. Means you have to pick your attacks very carefully. Again? Oh, at this point, I'd really love to have an Ogremon with the Pummel Whack. Pummel Whack doesn't, on counterattack, does not use any of your MP, but uses your opponent's MP. Kind of like the move Snatch. Oh, wow, he's already down half. Both are down by half. Okay, so are you ready to actually start attacking Zelta? It's about time you got in the game. Gee, she, Devimon has a thing for Starmon here. All right, we're done. Okay, number two you want to take out is Solmon. You can deal with your attacks hitting and missing, but you can't really deal with it when you're confused. This is where if you have an interrupt you would actually end up being at an advantage. So I have no choice but So this would have been a good instance to recruit the Numemon, trade him in, bring him here, and just spam Wing Blade. Sorry about that. Digimon battles are a thirsty work. Yeah, Mythos is just on the verge. I got no discs. And I don't know why, but apparently he has a kick me sign on him that everybody just seems to target him. So I'm gonna guard up and just prepare that we might end up having the witness with two members, not three all three.
My god, what is up with everybody just pounding meat though? So I guess it must be just pin pin the tail on the star monday. Now, this is the most the riskiest part of this whole battle. Get your attacks in and make them count. Got a hunch. Knew it. <laughs> My tamer hunch told me that he was going to get hit, so I used that opportunity. Oh man, that's going one down for the collection. into the exit portal with the energy bug as a pet. Any suggestions for a name? I'm gonna stick with Abby. Welcome back. And that's the end of that. Alrighty. We're currently at 37 minutes. By the time we get up to the boss in this domain, we're going to be hitting an hour. And I don't like having to have videos that long for this kind of let's play, especially after the rough and rocky start I had with the minor recording. So, Blood Revolt Part 3, we've, we tackled this domain. See you then. <laughs>